And Christ does not bless gay marriage. So even if the Pope, even if the Pope, even if the Pope was to say that you could bless gay marriage, Christ will not be doing the blessing. And so there is no blessing of gay marriage, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Luca is someone who looks for attention. He's looking for attention right now. Did he not just call me a homophobe? Was that an ad hominem? He's looking for clickbait. Clickbait. He became a Muslim for clickbait. He became a Muslim because they promised him a wife. You hate gay Ladies people, and gentlemen, you hate Muslims. he told me in that hotel over there yeah. to my face that he wanted to be able to marry children. Oh. No, I didn't. That's a lie. He told me yeah. in the hotel over there yeah. that he wanted to own now. slaves. Ooh. You're lying. We have him on camera defending both things. I've changed my mind about those things. And he abandoned Islam. He abandoned Islam. He abandoned Islam for clickbait because they didn't give him the wife that they promised him. <laughs> Did they, Ali Dawa? I don't have a YouTube channel, so how could I be looking for clickbait? So, ladies and gentlemen, so, ladies and gentlemen, you hate Muslims and you now turn yourself to hate gay people as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you. You try to incite If I state, people, ladies and gentlemen, in, in, uh, the that theologically there can be no blessings of gay marriage, is that any hateful Mark. statement to gay people? No. no. Yes, it is. And this you is the mistake of the liberal world. You're a homophobe. The liberal world. Oh, yeah. No, don't play up to him, JC. The liberal world, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah makes the same dumb category error that Luca has just made. They confuse the idea of hating sin with hating the person. You're a Christian fascist. Christians don't make that mistake, liberals. We don't, ladies and gentlemen. You're a fascist. We believe in loving sinners but hating sin and that's why the church has no authority to bless sin because God hates sin and so God does not bless sin and so the church cannot bless sin no matter what any pope or archbishop or council or synod says now let me show you how stupid Luca is Luca is a former Muslim what's the punishment of Islam for you you've left Islam have you not what is according to Shira law the punishment for you the death penalty do you think that we should allow Muslims to do that to you I'd rather not be... Uh, <laughs> rather not. He's unsure. He's a little unsure. Yeah, right. You'd rather not be killed by Muslims. Right. So if I want to oppose Sharia law in, in its implementation of its apostasy laws on you, am I helping you or hurting you? No, you want to uh, uh, answer my question. Answer my question. Right, yeah. He doesn't need... He doesn't need my help. Thank you. So, he doesn't need my help. Are you opposing Sharia law right now? I oppose the violent aspects, yes. Uh, so you're opposing some Sharia law? And I oppose the slavery, I oppose the child. Right, okay, okay. So you're doing what I'm doing, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Am I opposing Sharia law? 
I, the Put your hand up if you know that I'm opposing Sharia law. You tried to incite right. violence No, let me ask you. I'm opposing Sharia law. I'm you opposing Sharia law. To right? Violence against Muslims Prove it. Prove it. You show the video. Show the video. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it finished. He doesn't want me to prove it. I'm getting it finished. So he interrupts me, but he doesn't want me to interrupt him. You ask me a question. So, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen. He has you just admitted. Do you oppose Sharia law? Do you oppose Sharia law? Do you oppose Sharia law? Here's the hypocrisy of Luca and people like Luca. He opposes Sharia law, but he condemns me if I oppose Sharia law. So he opposes the Islamic slave trade, but he condemns me for opposing the Islamic slave trade. He opposes the apostasy law, but he condemns me for opposing the apostasy law. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now, ladies and gentlemen, you've committed a crime. Everything that I have said has been on camera. And I have said multiple times. And here's the thing that's going to shock Luca. I'm friends with police officers. Ah, okay. I have what said have to do with the same things on camera to police officers' faces. Ah, okay. Show us. Show us the Ladies evidence. and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I've said it to police lying, officers. <laughs> there is nothing evidence. wrong with calling for show your nation videos. to fight jihadis. You, you know what that's called? What? It's called public debate in a democracy. Fights jihadis. Yeah. We had that's a debate fights, in our parliament okay. attended by every MP of the country and they debated ferociously about whether we should bomb ISIS. Stop waffling. And when Stop they waffling, had that Bob. debate in parliament, yeah. people were debating that in coffee shops. People were debating that on question time and people were saying we should bomb ISIS. I am saying that the, the world governments should bomb the Fulani Muslims. I am saying that world governments should bomb Hamas. There you go. I've said it. Go and get a police officer. Go and get a police officer. This is called public debate. You should be locked up. Do you remember, you ladies and gentlemen, when the Muslims insane. were stood in, right in front mind. of the parliament You're or the embassy right and they were saying, Muslim armies rise up. Come on, talk yeah. to me, Bob. Stop Muslim armies me. rise up. Stop ignoring me. And they were surrounded by police. Stop ignoring were any me, of them arrested? No. Because they didn't break the law. Stop ignoring me. It is not a crime to say that we should oppose Islamization. You would have been arrested if it you is tried not to a hate the crime march. to say you that we have, should, yes, stand against, should stand yes, against should stand against Islamists using violence so long as we coward. believe you're that that coward. resistance should be based up. on legal resistance, ladies and gentlemen. You're a coward. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're you've never. Luca's a hypocrite. Why? Why? Yeah. Luca is a hypocrite. Practice what you preach. Luca is a hypocrite. Have you when have you ever heard Luca yeah. stand up for persecuted Christians? Yeah. When have you heard Luca? Condemn the mass murder of Nigerian Christians. Never. When have you heard Luca yeah. condemn the persecution of Pakistani Christians? Never. When have you heard Luca condemn Christians I being taken it. as slaves in it. Sudan? Never. You can hear me condemning it. When have you seen Luca yeah. oppose the defenders of such things? I condemn it. When has Luca gone dem? When has Luca right gone to the Dawa gang? Ah and challenge them for Christophobia. Luca is a hypocrite. No, I'm not. And he's looking for clickbait, no, ladies and gentlemen. You're the, you're the one who's looking so, for clickbait. I'm done debating Luca. Yes, you can't debate me. You Any failed. other questions, you ladies failed. and gentlemen? You're a coward. You Go on, no bro. Balls. You've got no balls. You'll have to you're stand up for yourself, bro. He has you're no manners. I can't hear you.
You're, You're a coward. You I can't hear you, bro. You, you can't debate me. England. You gotta shut up. Let other people speak. No, you I'm don't own this part. Stand here, bro. Stand here. Stand here. Come on. I'm gonna continue heckling. So you say the Church of England is outside of communion. Sorry. You say the Church of England is outside of communion. Does that mean Christians ought to avoid attending Sunday services at Church of England? Okay. Get a life. Stand here, bro. Stand here. Stand here. You stand here. Right. Stand. Stand here. There we go. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, so, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, the question is, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, since the Church of England has fallen out of communion with the Church, should we go to Church of England churches for communion? The answer is you judge fellowship by fellowship, because there are lots of fellowships inside the Church of England, lots of fellowships inside the Church of England that are faithful to the Christian faith. And they don't, ladies and gentlemen, and they don't, ladies and gentlemen, they don't agree with what the Church of England is doing. So, any other questions? Go on, brother. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, so, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, should we keep the Sabbath? Okay? Can you hear me at the back, brother? Okay. Can, should Christians keep the Sabbath? The answer to that question is the Sabbath was given to the Jews, was not given to the Gentiles. However, Christians are free, ladies and gentlemen, to keep a day of rest unto the Lord if they want to. It's called the freedom of the gospel. And historically, the ancient churches have had the discipline of doing that on a Sunday. But you're not obliged to do it. And so you are free not to do it. Or you're free to do it on a Saturday, or on a Monday, or on a Tuesday, or not at all. It's called the freedom of the gospel because the Sabbath was only a sign or a symbol, ladies and gentlemen, only a sign or a symbol of the new covenant of the promised land. I just want to point out that Luca is never brave enough to harass Muslims like this. And do you know why? Because we Christians are better people. Because we Christians are better people. Because we tolerate his stupidity. We tolerate his stupidity. If he behaved like this with the Muslims, they'd be punching him or pushing him away. Yes, go on, bro. Yes, sir. So I want to ask you this question. Why is it in Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 14? Is anyone got a Bible or something like that? Oh, he's got one. I've got one. Let me go grab my bag of books. Yeah, they mind. Ezekiel 8, verse 14. Could you hold that a minute? Look at me, you hateful. Now notice, chill, 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 chill. notice the liberal, the liberal is only brave to behave like this because Christians have enough love to tolerate it. He wouldn't, he doesn't do this to the Muslims because they don't have the love to tolerate it. And that is why Christianity is better than Islam. And that is why liberals only harass Christians. That is why. That is why, that is why, that is why liberals only harass Christians.